among the um, many difficult tasks of a bishop, one of the most difficult ones is to ask a well-loved priest to move from his parish. I have to do that with Father Daniel because the people of Qumran need a dedicated, committed, a young priest with wisdom and with spirituality to guide that parish into its future. Two churches, two schools, one huge hospital, one secondary school over the border, and scattered population. When, Dan, when I ordained Daniel a priest here some years ago, a very important part of the ceremony was when he placed his hands in mine and promised obedience and respect to me and my successors. Well, he's always had obedience and respect. He's fulfilled those promises in an exemplary way in his two years here at the cathedral. Made a tremendous contribution to the life of the cathedral and to the diocese as well. He's injected a spirituality and a sacramentality, not least in the confessional ministry and in his pastoral outreach, and he has guided the cathedral through the most difficult 18 months with COVID, and has been uh, instrumental in drawing up a program of repairs and renewals in the building, which will begin in a few weeks' time. I once said in a Methodist church that I thought it was only Catholics who used to canonize people, uh, but we at least wait until they're dead. And I hope I haven't canonized him too much, although he will be a canon one day, uh, the Holy Spirit has told me, but not yet. Daniel, uh, many people have very good reason to be grateful to you for your ministry here and in Qumran in the years to come. And I count myself as one of those people who've been blessed by your work. Do you want to say anything? I'm not going to tell you to take your newsletters home with you this week. Uh, you're okay. Uh, I have to be honest that the promise of obedience itself isn't the hard part. The hard part is the secretum that goes with it, not being able to say, and that's what I found <laughs> the most uh, difficult. And out of the two years here, only six months have been normal, the old normal. And it has been such a great privilege uh, and an honor to, to be here, to, to serve in the cathedral and to follow uh, Canon Collins uh, here. And a, a priest friend of mine said to me uh, a couple of weeks ago that not many people have the Archbishop on speed dial to supply for you for masses. So I guess that's coming to an end now, Your Grace. <laughs> but do pray for me. Pray also for um, Canon Griffiths as he prepares to take up his uh, next appointment and pray for the poor removers who've got to come back and move me again. So do pray for them. And of course, um, I continue to pray for you every day also.